Hello guys and welcome to this series where I cast your games. Remember if you want me to cast your game feel free to comment your summon lane down below and maybe I will take a look at one of your games in the future. But today we have an exciting episode in store because this is not normal League of Legends we are watching today. We are casting peak League of Legends. Today's player, our protagonist of this episode, he finished Master Tier last season. Right now, in this moment, he's in his Master Tier promos, zero games played so far, or at least at this moment. So, uh, yeah, it's some, it's some high elo intensity we're watching today. And I'm obviously, obviously talking about the main, the myth, the legend, that is this Nuno on the blue team. His name is a name I have no idea how to pronounce, something like 3sus91, my man. And yeah, so that's the intro you're gonna get, man. I have no idea how to pronounce the name, but it is a high elo play, a very high elo, as I said, master tier last season. So we are talking about the top 0.5% of players. Um, yeah, so today we see him on, on this Nuno, which will allow us to see how to snowball, no pun intended, an early game if he manages to do so obviously because that's how you want to play the Nuno uh, in the early game. You are very strong, a very strong Gengar. Let's see as Senna uh, walks alone through the river level 1, flashes over the wall, so does Samira. Flashes on top of her, don't think that she will go down. Senna uses the heal and manages to escape and now Red Team actually has prior for uh, to get the first wave because Senna flashed over the wall. Um, yeah, almost got punished. Had to use both his sums though, but yeah, as I said, we are we're watching the or oh, I, I should rather say our protagonist for this episode is the Nunu here for blue team. A very snowball early game champion um, which fits in a game like this because you have to, you play against a Senna Senna brand bot lane, a very uh, emo immobile bot lane that you can gank a lot of times on repeat especially now that uh, that Senna doesn't have flash available to her so you see in the minimap Nuno he started topside he is pathing but I expect him to take his red here then he should be level 3 and then he should look for a gank onto uh, Senna brand here because they are also pushing in the wave so it's good it's a good spot right now for for Nuno to gank as long as this bot lane gets level 2 he also wants his support to have the that the polarize the headbutt polarize available to him. But yeah, you see on the minimap Nuno is snowballing his way into the spot lane here. Lance a snowball onto Senna. Roots her with the E and she will go down eventually. Samira gets the first one onto Senna. What about Brand? They will not commit the dive onto Brand. But yeah, free kill onto the red team ADC who had no flash available to her. And that's just something that this Nuno can keep on doing. Uh, until she gets her flash available to her again. But yeah, so how do you want to play this Nuno early game? Obviously you want to look for this perma gank, you want to get the level 3 as has done and then just gank all the time. And these skulls is just... Skulls right now is not in a, in a good state, they don't give that much, uh, that much experience anymore, was nerfed quite a bit. But when you play Nuno, skulls are just so important because when you when you when you pop your W as Nuno, your snowball, the movement speed that you get will increase the longer uh, the the duration of your W go. So you get more movement speed. But if you stand on top of a scuttle, if you're taken down, so you have the the vision thingy with the movement speed buff. If you stand on top of that spot and use your your uh, snowball, it actually stacks the movement speed, so you get even faster. Uh, really fast and let's see here Senna will go down once again gets engaged on by Alistair with the headbutt polarize and then Senna can just dash into it gets a double kill Senna and what about top lane is that was that a solo kill I think it was actually a solo kill for Garen all four sums popped uh, in, the, in the top lane both Garen, uh, Garen and Mordecai so use the sums and here's Nocturne lurking in the bot lane don't think he will be able to get anything here We'll have to see if he can. Oh, it does actually manage to uh, to spell shield the polarize, but and lands the dust blade onto Alistair. Gets a kill. Can maybe look? No, I think he's called out here. Let's see. 
Yeah, dies to Samira. And th that's a, a blue team ADC see now with four kills. A Samira, four kills in five minutes, and that's a hyper carry. Uh, if she gets into the later stages of the game, we have to see what she buys here when she, when she recalls. Not a whole item yet, but uh, pretty far ahead of the center already. Or I should rather say brand because it is obviously a fasting center. So let me just do this. Okay. So here in the top lane, it is a level six guaranteed level four water kaiser. If I didn't. Or if I look correctly, at the same time, Lux gets a kill, a great roam for for Alistar. Headbutt polarizer onto the enemy team mid lane as a Swain into a light binding and final spark from Lux. Getting a free kill onto onto the Lux is great because she also scales really good with gold. And Alistar really doing work and now ganging his own lane, coming in from behind with the headbutt polarizer onto Senna once again. That's a Senna with three deaths so far for Red Team here in six minutes. Garen meanwhile he takes a plate, but here is Nuno, and will they try and take him down? They could look for a kill onto onto Garen here, proxying a bit behind the tier one or the out turret for the top lane here for blue team but don't try and kill him instead bot lane decides to dive brand and i think that alistar will go down it ends up being a one for one but they do deny some experience from the brand here which is great because brand is the carry we have to remember in this lane so you want to deny him from all the experience that you that you can senna gets another kill or not senna um samira gets another kill that's now six kills dashes in but here is Noctin with the paranoia manages to take down Samira and that's a 600 gold bounty onto Noctin already. So even though this red team bot lane they are suffering right now, uh, it is it is great so far for, for Noctin. Two early kills only seven minutes into the game on a jungler that isn't really that strong at this point in the game. However, Lux just blew that swain up. Holy moly, that's some damage. From the final spark. Wow, Blue Red Team, they get the dragon somehow without having any pressure from the bot lane. And Mordekaiser will get a solo kill with the Obliterate landing onto Garen here. <laughs> spicy, spicy high diamond game so far, I'll have to say. With 13 kills already in 8 minutes, and this is just peak, peak solo kill. Let's see here what Alistar decides to do. Hex flashes over the wall. Lands another headbutt polarize onto <laughs> Senna, and which just forces her to, to use the flash, and that I think she just got off cooldown. So now next time, next time Elastai gets another combo off, she will just die once again. Very uh, dominant performance so far from the blue team bot lane. Samira flashes in with the oh under turret. And goes down even with her infernal trigger. Ooh, that was uh, <laughs> that was int. Doesn't flash flashes on the turret. Blocks nothing with her blade whirl. Doesn't use the, the heal, and dies just as she gets her infernal trigger off. Uh, yeah, that was just int. Not good. And here is Nunu. We haven't seen much from this Nunu so far. Will get a kill onto Senna. What about the Brand here? Will they also take him down? Manages to kill the Senna with the Absolute Zero. Brand will also die, I think, eventually too. Nuno does have his flash available too. <laughs> Flashes on top of uh, of Brand after killing him. Fair enough. But hey, uh, better safe than sorry, right? That's uh, that's that's how you say it. What about Lux here? Will he escape? Dies to the last tick of Ignite. Has Garen flashed on top of her? With the decisive strike, Nuno here to catch the wave. Get hit, gets hit by Swain with his E. I think it's called never move. Not quite sure. But yeah, already a couple of plates onto Senna also. Or oh, not Senna, Samira. I don't know why I keep saying saying Senna. 
Now seeing call out here. Will go down eventually. Mordecai takes the kill. And now Nunu should there should be a free herald for Nunu. Samira playing a bit too far forward in a 1 vs 2 bot lane. Was punished a bit here. Let's see if they will look for a dive when they push in the last wave here. There is a potential if they can land a stun onto Samira here. I don't think she has a blade whirl available to her to dodge any, any incoming projectiles. Let's see here. Goes in with the blade whirl early in front trigger. They take down both the red team bot laners and that's a double kill for Samira. Excuse me for saying that <laughs> or for mentioning that red team could try and dive her. She just completely obliterates the red team bot lane. That's nine deaths for the red team bot lane so far in 11 minutes. Kind of inting. And that's also what we have to remember about these high elo games. Yes, it, it's high elo, but people still die all the time. It's not, so, it's not something that stops after you get out of, uh, of the lower, lower leagues. Again here, Samira in another kill away. Great use of the of Nocturne of his uh, of his paranoia, I should rather say. And Swain is here to kill the blue team support. Alistair also goes down. So great roam from uh, Swain and a great use of the paranoia again from Nocturne. Having a lot of early game, early early to mid game impact here actually. Being in five kills in 12 minutes, uh, the Nocturne here, which I think personally is a lot more than you can expect. However, there is a 1 vs 1 in the top lane. Mordecai has a take to Garen into his realm of death, misses the obliterate. Still looks like Garen will go down, doesn't have the flash available to him. Mordecai has taken down the 1 vs 1 and Nuno, our protagonist here, solo kills the enemy team's AP carry in the bot lane. <laughs> and that is probably just the power of a Nuno who has gotten his mythic item. A lot of burn damage if he can get close. Probably land the snowball, just standing on top of him, and then popping the absolute zero is enough damage to take down Brantia. And with the help of the Herald, they take down the butt but turret that means five plates for Samira. And I only think that she had to split a couple of them. So a lot of a lot of gold so far on the blue team ADC here in this game. Now going for the second break of the game, blue team. This sh should even out the breaks. The red team is not contesting, so that will be one break for blue team and one break for red team. We we'll have to say what's what soul we're gonna get in this game. A cloud soul, and that will definitely benefit the likes of a Nunu if they can't get this cloud soul. Because the more movement speed he can get, the greater for him. Also the likes of the mirror. Oh, dash is out. A great dash does still go down to Swain. I don't know wh what took it down. It was kind of big burst in the last second. Maybe two and I have not. I don't quite have the idea. But she she goes down, pushes up too far, and is kind of playing a bit cocky with the lead that she uh, that she has. Let's see, we have a double ignite. Alistar will go down to Garen. Garen will eventually also go down to Mordecai. Should get the kill here. Yeah, with the obliterate, get the kill onto Garen. A lot of kills so far. So I'm going to just take the blue buff. But yeah, our protagonist Nuno also doing a great job so far this game. Been in eight kills, uh, which is quite good for even for a early game uh, perma ganger like Nuno. He has gotten a Drake, he has gotten the Herald and the first turret in the bot lane uh, with the help of the Herald. So great early game impact so far for this Nuno. And what you want to do now is obviously you want to get... Because even though you, you play Nuno, you have three kills, you scale really great. But it, when you're playing Nuno, you don't want to be the hyper carry, right? Because you don't, you simply do not deal as much as much damage, damage as more traditional hyper carries. So right now you just want to get, you want to... You want to give the kills to uh, the other team members, and you just want to invest in tankiness if you can do that. Oh, um, as we see Nuno, uh, Nuno doing right now with the Sunfire, with the Magic Resist boots, and the Ruby Crystal on top of that. See, they look for a dive here onto Swain, lands the Snowball, Swain will go down Nuno tanking the turret, so 
no one there is in danger. And the red team support has made her way here up to the top lane. You have to see that Nocturne is also top side here. Can look for something with the paranoia if he sees any blue team members wandering around alone, but doesn't look like it. But yeah, going back to this Samira, playing it a bit corgi. Is even down C as to brand and has eight kills but has still died four times. It, it's like I understand that you want to play aggressive and you should pl play aggressive when you get a lead like the one that Seneca got early game. Um, but you have to play aggressive when you have vision, especially when you're playing against Nocturne. I think Nocturne has killed her two or three times. Also forces a flash here. I think it could flash onto the other side and kill Samira but and doesn't do so. Instead, Lux and uh, Nuno, they take down Garen who managed to take down the first turret for, for red team in the bot lane. So it is only one uh, turret to, to one, uh, one one turret between two teams here. I'm gonna look for a snowball onto the red team bot lane and we have to see if the a team fight will unfold here. It is four members of the red team and only three for for the blue so they should back off which they cleverly do. Kinda a couple of fast feats here. Juke some skill shots. And Mordekaiser will eventually take down the first top turret here for blue team. As the rest of his team to take down the Herald. And always, 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 please, when you take down the second Herald of the game. There is no more plates for your team to take it. It will be after the 14 minute mark. So please, for the love of God, always use the next Herald mid lane. Because the taking down the mid lane turret just gives your team so much pressure. And I know it can be tempting to run top of uh, or bot and use, uh, use the Herald straight away uh, if there is a low turret. But please use the Herald mid. It's just so much better uh, for the rest of the game. Because you know, taking down this mid lane turret it just allows you to enter uh, the enemy team jungle. They have to move. The enemy team has to move their ward, the vision line backwards because they don't have the protection of the mid lane turrets anymore. Um, but yeah, taking the third break of the game, blue team here they will get it because they have prior here. That would be a second break for blue team on their way to Seoul. Has hit the halfway mark. I'm gonna pop the snowball. I don't think they will look for anything here. Just wanna clear the raptors. Bit of a stalemate in the game so far. People want to get their items, I assume. We have a bit of an Aram here. Nuno caught out. Should probably flash away as he does. A couple of missed skill shots, and we go back to stalling and Aramming. Or do we? Wow, okay. Alistar goes in with the headbutt polarize and this is a full flash team fight in the mid lane. Mordekaiser dives the brain, gets a kill there. There's two kills for blue team here. Another headbutt polarize falls the flash out from Nocturne and he will not go down. Manages to escape. So that's two kills for blue team. They will also take the tier one mid turret here. But at the same time, we have to look at the minimap. Garen, he took down the tier two turret in the bot lane. So at least trade something back. Will they also take down the tier two mid turret here? Nocturne is looking for the flank, maybe. Doesn't do anything, and they do take down the tier 2 mid lane turret. 
So a great little team fight for blue team and it has also taken the goal lead up to 5k which is quite a lot at this point in the game. Um, just utilizing the fact that they were 5 against 4. Let's see if Samira is uh, caught out here. Decides to dash back in and try and fight with the help of her blade whirl. What about Nuna here? Will he die? Nuna doesn't have the flash available to her, but a great final spark from Lux takes down Nocturne. Will they also take down the Garen? I don't... I he will with the help of Ignite uh, or something. I'm not quite sure. Alistair will also go down. Let's see here. Flashes away. Oh, that's such a great stopwatch by Alistair. And he also gets the kill. Ooh, that's a montage worth of play if I've ever seen one. And Lux also managed to escape somehow. Mordekaiser so gets a butt turret. I mean, game kind of spiraling, spy railing, spy getting out of hand um, for red team here. It's not looking too good at this point. Also down 12 kills. Blue team has double red team's kills right now, and we have 36 kills in the 22 minute game so far. Things looking good, and our protagonist Nuno also doing a really good job. Has been in 14 out of 24 kills, gotten full of heralds, gotten two drakes. That's the early game impact that you want to have when you play Nuno. And you see, you already see he has built a couple of tank items, has some good resistances against all the ability power that uh, red team they come with, with the Swain and with the brand. And let's see here if Senna will go down once again. She will. It's completely blown off. Noxin used the paranoia onto Lux, I think it is. Yeah, Lux also goes down. It is a one for one so far. What about Samir here? Silence flashes away, used the infernal trigger, but will go down to Noxin. It is a good fight here for Red Team. Blue Team throwing a bit. Will they catch the Nuno? Let's see. They will also take Nuno down. What about Mordekaiser here? Will they take down Mordekaiser? Then it could be a baron. They have gotten three kills so far. Only one has died from, from Blue Team here. What about Garen? Will Garen down? Uh, will Garen end up going down? Let's see. Alistair flashed over the wall. That's a 700 gold bounty onto Nocturne and ace for Blue Team for Red Team here. Why don't you go for the Baron? You have five dead members. I have no idea why they didn't win for Baron. But okay, gr great team fight for Red Team here. They ace uh, Blue Team and I might. I think most of it comes from uh, bad positioning from Lux and, and Samira. Very bad positioning from Lux early game just allows Nocturne, uh, Nocturne to, to ult him with the paranoia and then they were completely alone. So a bit of a throw here for blue team, they were very far away, uh, far ahead. I think it was something like 7, 6, 7k. Right now the goal lead is down to only 3.5k. Let's see what happens here with Nuno. He's a bit caught out, but does have a lot of resistance to his name. Ooh, that's a final spark that hurts. They also forced the unbreakable will out of Alistar here. And what about Garen? Will he take down Samira? He will go down, okay. Okay, Blue Team gaining a bit of control back here. What is happening here? Nuno looking for the steal, I assume. Doesn't get close to Drake. Alistar is also caught out, doesn't have the flash to get over the wall. So red team, they get the Drake, they get two kills, two more kills onto this blue team. The goal lead is now, eh, it's still around 3.5k, so st st still a comfortable lead for blue team. But they have really thrown uh, compared to the lead that they should have. When you think about how great the early game went for them. Um. Oh, Lux again alone. It's all the by Nocturne kills her once again. And Nocturne has really, has really utilized this uh, paranoia. Great. I don't think he's wasted it one time. He's always gonna kill and always onto with one of the carries, either the Samira or the Lux. So really good. Nocturne really keeping red team. Uh, in this game so far But yeah, obviously since we have our protagonist on the blue team, that's the team we want to win 
we want to win and how do they win this game because they do have some great scaling they do have a Samira the more items she gets the stronger she gets obviously scales really great with items um, and will force Red team to build a lot of healing reduction the later the game goes because with her when she pops her inferno trigger that's just so much so much heal onto the blue team A to see. And when you have a Lux also you have great long range long range pick potential. But I think you want to look for the picks just as Red Team does with this paranoia, gets another kill onto Samira. And that's why Blue Team are losing these fights right now. They are not walking as a group and allowing Nocturne to just perma-ult them. Um, because it's a short cooldown at this point. Some damage with the final spark here. Red Team, they will look for the Baron probably. Um, but yeah, Blue Team, you have to look for, for some picks if you want to win. Because the, the straight up 5v5, I'm not quite sure that, that Blue Team actually wins because... Um, just because of the Pyroclasm and uh, Brand's, uh, Brand's ultimate, it just deals so much damage in an isolated 5 versus 5. But if you can get some picks like the knock Mordecai has done here with his uh, Realm of Death, you can, he can take one out of the fights and if you can land a Light Binding onto one of the uh, red team members into a final spike like this, that's how you're going to win these fights. But in the straight up 5 5 you see right here, Brand pops the Pyroclasm and gets a lot of damage off and that's just one ability. Uh, that he will always have available to him in these team fights. So yeah, both teams kind of want to look for these picks, but I think in, in a straight off 5v5, uh, I will give red team the advantage unless Mordecai gets a really good flank off and can isolate one of these carries, take them down inside the realm of death. But yeah, we'll have to see. Definitely also helps blue team that uh, the red team support is kind of uh, soft inting at this point. 0 9 the 8 center, not doing too good. Uh, it's kind of misplaced herself in a lot of these fights. Also, in laning phase, didn't really know where to be at the right times uh, of the game. And I definitely think that this game so far has been a pretty big support diff. Alistar has been a really good pr playmaker here for, for Blue Team, but we also have to remember that Senna is one of these champions that scales indefinitely. So, again, even though Blue Team they scale great with the uh, ability power on locks and some items on on Samira eventually red team will just have enormous amounts of damage with Senna who can perma slow uh, and brand who's all just deals insane amount of, uh, of damages so I don't think blue team they can just let this game uh, turtle forever and that's probably also why they are on the Baron here you have insane objective security when you have a Nuno on your team because his consumer at this point in the game I think it deals around 900 damage then you have your smite which also deals 900 damage so that means you, you're a blue team jungler uh, Nuno who can smite for 1800 alone let's see once again Samira here caught out flashes away from Nocturne into three other members red team I mean I think it's sixth time now I, I'm pretty sure it's sixth time that uh, Samira has been also like this just refusing to respect the fact that red team they have a nocturne on the team but okay that's her decision see again once again Mordekaiser used the realm of death onto brand and that way they can kill him without uh, his pyroclast and bouncing from from all or between all the members of the blue team see here Lux also lands a final spark but it ends up being a one for one and here is Garen with a great flank will probably take down Lux here with the mass injustice what about Alistar will they take their, um, him down also they will not but that is still a 2 for 1 for red team here so a great trade from them also taking down two of the carries for, uh, for blue team putting some pressure onto blue team right now even pushing the inhabitor and getting the third drake for their team so now on soul point red team and goal lead now is down to 2k from the 4, 5, 6, 7k goal lead that Blue Team had in the early game. Uh, so yeah, actually it's starting to look really winnable for Red Team here. Uh, Blue Team, they have just thrown. I mean, being completely honest, they have just thrown. See, Nuna here engages onto center. Should probably be able, able to take it down with the absolute zero. Yeah, let's see here. 
He does have the flash available to her, decides not to use it. But with the help of his snowball and the consume, Nuno will take down Senna. And yeah, there was a 0-9 Senna that almost um, could keep up with Nuno. Just shows the power of, of scaling for this Senna and also shows why you why you don't build Nuno as a carry, right? You, you build him as a tank as you do here, which means that you don't deal that much damage, but you can survive a lot longer. Um, than if you build him full AP. However, full AP would probably have done, have made that kill a lot easier. But yeah, Nuno playing for his team instead of for, for the for his own solo queue uh, kill count, I should say. Garen caught out. Not here. Why is he even here? But okay, help with the paranoia. Here is Nocturne again. Paranoia's his way onto, on top of uh, of Samir here, but a bit too deep. Ends up losing his Guardian Angel. Samira is then is now really deep. Ends up going down. It will be a, a so far one kill for Red Team here. Will be a one for one. Wayne eventually goes down, even though he was in his demonic ascension. So a one for one so far. A lot of abilities popped. A lot of uh, important ultimate cooldown down here. And some happy feet. But yeah, red team, they are 2k behind, but we, we really see how they've gotten the pressure right now in this game. Pushing up all three waves, or well, not the bot lane, but mid and top lane, they have, they have pushed, they have taken down the blue team, the, uh, they're taking away the jungle of the blue team here. Nuno will maybe get a kill, at least forces the flash away from Brandon, but should eventually go down once again. Also forces the uh, paranoia out from... Nocturne, but ends up going down at the same time. Garen gets an inhibitor turn in the top lane. Game starting to spiral a bit out of control now for blue team. They lose their jungler. Uh, once again, they lose a top lane inhibitor turret. And can they actually come back in this one? See, Mordekaiser uses the Realm of Death onto Garen. Flashes on top of him. Will take him down probably eventually. And what about Alistar here? Survives a long time with the Unbreakable Will. And Senna just has so much range right now. We'll go down to the final spike. Once again, Paranoia is up. Takes down Simiro once again. And here is... No one. No one to help Red Team at least. Blue Team gets a couple of kills here. That's four kills for Blue Team. Unfortunately, there is no important objective right now. They can take still a minute on Baron. And a minute and a half on the Drake. But yeah, great, great little team fight, extended team fight for blue team here. Lux also getting a 600 gold shutdown onto uh, the red team jungle, the red team jungle on Nocturne. But yeah, you you want to you want to prepare for some of the objectives right now as blue team. And you want to you want to get some vision down so that you can make the pick for once in this game instead of getting picked out by Nocturne with his paranoia all the time. Um, instead, Nuno is pushing up bot lane, also a good thing to do, but there is only 25 seconds onto, uh, before this Baron spawns. It gets a, gets a pushing wave, always great because whenever you've been, you're going to force all the five members of red team top lane now, so they will eventually lose a lot of experience in the bot lane because the wave will push in on the turret. See what happens here. Yeah, they are looking for a trap here. Blue team, as they should. Lux maybe lands a light, light binding. Is don't quite see. However, Nuno lands a snowball. But yeah, you do have the priority right now over Drake. That's great. Now you want to use it. You want to get a pick onto either Brand or Senna right here as they're trying to pr approach. And down goes Senna. Great, great light binding into the final spark from Lux here. And that's a hyper carry one shot if I've ever seen one. Brain is also down. Swain also going down. The three kills for Red Blue Team here. They get four. However, Garen is trying to end the game. What is Mordecai doing? Garen doesn't have minions. That's four kills for Blue Team here. Can they just. And they have the bottle. Do they have the bot wave that Nudo, that Nudo decides to push? Can they maybe go for the end here? I actually think they can. Dev timer says 20 seconds onto Senna. I think blue team they end the game right here, let's see. 
a great pick from from Loxie in the in the last team fight. Just finding center with the light binding into final spark over the wall. And we have to see yeah, Garen is back. There is only five seconds onto center here. I still think the blue team they can look for the end. Mordecai has also joined them right now. And it's the headbutt Garen away. Ooh, Nuno goes down. Doesn't look too good here, but in goes Senna completely one shot. Uh, Osmira completely one shot Senna. They have taken down both Nexus turrets and they will take the game down here. Looks like it. Yeah. Wow. Completely froze the game in the mid game. And then with one team fight, one great light binding, uh, they managed to win one team fight, have a pushing wave that. I kind of flame this Nuno for for going bot lane and pushing out the wave even using his uh, his absolute zero, but turned out just gave them the wave that they needed to end the game. So wow, that's some high elo uh, stuff right there. So once again, just to try and pronounce your name again, three sus ninety one. Thank you so much for letting me cast your game. And remember, if you want me to cast your game, feel free to come into someone name. Announce next time. See ya.